Before I begin this video, I need to BEG of you guys to really, really listen closely. Like, this is seriously important. Above everything, I care about the truth, and despite my feelings about Cosmodor, I need to clarify some things that are not true about him. Before we begin, I have to state that Cosmodor did have a relationship with a 15-year-old when he was 19. Now, his explanation of this is because he lives in Germany, and around his culture, that is just something that happens there. It's the done thing. Now, I don't live in Germany. I grew up in America. I have an American perspective, and maybe I'll never understand it. Maybe it's perfectly normal there. I do not know. And I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt because there's still things that I'm going to mention here that I think better describe Cosmodor than the general consensus of what he is now, that he is a malicious child predator that, that lured kids in by making videos on cartoons. That's completely untrue. I want to mention that I do applaud Cosmodor for legitimately following the directions that I gave him, which is to go and seek out help for himself and get therapy for himself. He is legitimately doing what the community asked him to do. I mean, they also asked him to just leave outright, and uh, Cosmodor argues, well, what will that solve? And, you know, I get that. What, what will that really solve? It's a bit confusing. Something I have to keep in mind here is that the victim's priorities come before Cosmo's priorities. And outside of the age gap, there are a lot of aspects about Cosmo and the victim's relationship that people just completely glossed over because they wanted to go, Ooh, Predator! Oh, Predator! Predator! They're a Predator! That's it, they're done. And I get that. I totally get that. That's fine, that's fine, whatever. But I feel like how this is being framed is allowing Cosmodor to sort of get away with other things that he did, and for other people that are doing these things to sort of get away with what they're doing by focusing on one arguable aspect of him, and that he's a Predator, which... I said this in previous videos, I don't believe that he is a malicious predator. I think he got caught up in a relationship, and he didn't have the courage to leave it. I don't think he went after this person for their age, he just didn't end the relationship because he didn't see a problem with it. But I'm gonna go over a couple of other things about Cosmodor. Now that I think about it, I think should have been focused on more than just the trivial, oh, he's a predator thing. And these are things that Cosmodor goes over himself in his own video, in which he takes responsibility for his actions. Some of those things were that he would manipulate the victim into giving him discounted art to use for his channel because they were in a relationship. That's unacceptable, and this is something that Cosmodor admits, and he says for himself that he should not have done. Another thing is that he would call the victim out for very minute things on Twitter, which would magnify the victim's anxiety by a fuck ton, because Cosmodor has five times the viewers of the victim. Again, these are things that Cosmodor, according to his video, is trying to take responsibility for. And I think, if the guy is trying to take responsibility for his actions, say, listen, I fucked up, I did this, I did that, and how he is literally taking the community's advice by getting himself therapy and help, then I'm not sure where the issue really lies anymore. Cosmodor used to be defiant in getting help, and he would just hide everything and disappear, and not get the story straight, allowing rumors to spread about himself, which called for misinformation to be spread, which ultimately tarnished his character, and he's probably going to have to live with that misinformation for the rest of his life. Let me clarify that I'm not making excuses here. What he did was reprehensible, and I completely understand the perspective of, oh, well, he did it once, I don't want it to happen again, because people believe that he was trying to groom L.S. Mark, including myself. I have to clear that up now that... Apparently, according to Cosmodor and Mark, he does not like being involved in this, I, so I want to clarify that I did not speak to Mark about this, but I'm going off of the evidence that Cosmodor provided. 
that Mark did not consider it grooming and that Cosmodor was not attempting to go after Mark. Cosmo admitted that he had a crush on Mark, but he did not want to go after Mark because he thought that it would ruin their relationship. Let me say this very clearly. He did not want to go after Mark. He did not want to date Mark. Now, though, again, there are still things that Cosmodor fucked up in his video. One of them is that he doesn't really clearly explain cultural differences and such. He just sounds like he's saying, oh, well, it's legal here. I'm within my rights. I'm doing this. When any logical person will tell you that the law is not always congruent with morality, in fact, there's many cases where it's objectively more moral to do the opposite thing. That, that could be interpreted bad. <laughs> but I think that Cosmodor at least coming out and admitting that, hey, I fucked up, hey, I did this and that over two videos is at least progression. And I still get if you want to reject him. I completely do. One of the main arguments that I don't really have a rebuttal for is that it is raising the victim's anxiety levels because he is returning and because he's beginning to have a platform again. I get that. I get arguing against it. In fact, I'm not even so confident that he should return, not because of the age gap difference, but because of the other manipulative things that he's done. But what I am willing to say is that I think there could be a point in the future in which he comes out as a brand new person, and maybe he will be accepted by a few of us. I'm all about the truth. I'm all about people doing what's right. And as Cosmodor said, there was no nudes exchanged. There was no sexual interactions between the, him and the victim. Something I do disagree with happening is that he would send Rule 34 art to them as a joke. I mean, you know, hilarious joke, dude. It's like, wow, wow, is that so weird, man? Fucking hilarious. But what I'm saying here is that do not just immediately dismiss everything Cosmodor says. I get it, I get it, I get it. He is a horrible, terrible, heartless, groomer, pedophile, rapist. But you have to be adult about this. So what I'm asking for you guys to do is to just keep an eye on Cosmodor. And if Cosmodor is listening to this, buddy, you gotta fucking not do this. <laughs> I mean, it's not often you have to tell people, you know not to manipulate others and not to, you know, try and coerce them into giving them free art, but, you know, people are making this out to be something different than what it is. People are saying that there was sexual abuse. Okay, Th this is a guy who literally went and groomed kids, okay? He was grooming kids online. He is a child sexual abuser. And there was other things that happened when that's completely not true. And no matter who the person is lying about somebody or getting information wrong about them is never okay in any front. And in fact, a lot of the time, like in this time, it makes the situation worse. I'm not condoning Cosmodor's actions. I'm not on Cosmodor's side. What I am saying here is that there is a lot of misinformation that even I have personally accidentally spread like saying that he attempted to groom Mark when no such thing occurred. And I should have made this video sooner when the information came out that he didn't. That's where I fucked up. I'm getting the record straight. Do what you want with this information. If you want to continue to vilify Cosmodor and say, you cannot come back, you're not welcome here, you do not have a platform, I understand that perspective. I mean, yeah, the victim's priorities are above Cosmodor's priorities, and I understand taking the victim more seriously than Cosmodor. At the same time, there were still lies being spread about Cosmodor, and nobody should be lied about at all. That's my take. Feel free to dislike this video and unsubscribe and report. Bye.